during the Cold War, the People's Liberation Army was significantly inferior to the Soviet Union and the United States in military technology, both air and naval. To compensate for this disparity, China has developed a defense-oriented military, taking infantry as the main force. Since the 1990s, the People's Liberation Army has been heavily invested in modernization, and one of the Army's priority areas is anti-tank guided missile systems. This is an inexpensive and effective approach against enemy armor vehicles and advanced tanks. The People's Liberation Army has officially commissioned its advanced HJ-8 anti-tank systems since 1985 in small numbers but its ability to fight advanced tanks, such as the US M1 or the Soviet T-80, is questionable. The People's Liberation Army needed a more modern ATMG to be able to take on modern Western tanks. The requirement is to have features equivalent to American and Russian anti-tank missiles, such as Javelin, Cornet, or Israeli SPAC, and the HJ-9 system was born. This is the first anti-tank missile system designed for the People's Liberation Army after the Cold War, and has been in service with the People's Liberation Army since 1999. HJ-9 or Hong Chuan 9, or Red Arrow 9, developed by China North Industry Corporation, Norinco. It is similar in appearance to the Israeli manned portable anti-tank system, MAPAS, causing speculation about the link between the two missiles. It is also similar to the South African ZT-3 Ingui anti-tank missile. Like MAPAS and ZT-3, the HJ-9 is guided by laser beam writing. The HJ-9 has a maximum range of 5.5 km and a minimum range of 100 m. Claim armor penetration is 1200 mm, which is greater than that of the HJ-8. The missile may be fitted with high explosive or thermal effect weapons for use against non-armor point targets, bunkers, and fortifications. Like the HJ-8, the HJ-9 utilizes a disposable launching tube but the one for HJ-9 is heavier, weighing 37 kilograms, because HJ-9 is larger than the HJ-8. The diameter of the HJ-9 is 152 mm, and the missile is compatible with a variety of thermal emission size. In 2005, Norinco revealed in various public events that another version of the HJ-9, the HJ-9A, was ready in service with Chinese armed forces. And this version used semi-active millimeter wave radar guidance. However, early photos of HJ-9 in service with Chinese paratroops were shown to the public. In these photos, the HJ-9A launcher is mounted on a jeep, and a wrinkle claimed the launcher on vehicles could be rapidly dismounted for foot soldiers. 
No wrinkle on so revered, I further develop advanced version of the HJ9A, designated HJ9B. My video about the Chinese HJ9 Aditang Mr. Ansel. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos. Tạm biệt và hẹn gặp lại quý vị và các bạn trong các video tiếp theo.